Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Unity of Command as we continue. So we're going to continue here with the Victory in the West campaign that we started last night. Now, we did have our victory down here. It could have been a superior victory, but we didn't do too badly, really. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to quickly lower the sound effects a little bit. I like the fact that you do have options to actually change that. There's a good few options here in the game, to be fair. Okay, so we'll lower the volume. There we go. A little bit more. Okay. So, Tunis. Axis forces in Africa have been forced back into an ever-shrinking bridgehead in northern Tunisia. Uh, with nowhere left to retreat, few supplies and even fewer reserves, the Africa Corps makes a last stand as the Allies launch their final offensive on the continent. As we have six turns, it seems that we have to defeat the Axis forces in Tunis to then proceed on to Sicily. Should be interesting. I did have a comment actually in regards to playing as the Germans. I do not know if you can play as the Germans as of yet. I'm unsure as to whether there's going to be a multiplayer mode. It would be interesting to see some sort of multiplayer mode actually. Uh, but indeed, I'd love to see an Eastern Front campaign. That would be really quite interesting. Or even potentially some like alternate history campaigns could be really intriguing. Uh, depending on your performance, it would be really interesting to see something from the outset of war in 1939 as the German forces, just to see what we could really do, really. Okay. As we go ahead and uh, go forward in just a moment. Now, let's see. Am I in the conference mode right now? Next conference. When all available scenarios have been unlocked and completed, this button becomes enabled. Wow. Okay, so you have to really make some long-term choices, don't you? I think we can spend some of the prestige over here, then. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> that. Wow. Okay. You've really got to make some good choices then, haven't you, really? But at least you have quite a bit of prestige when you get to the next conference, so I suppose that's not too bad. Okay, this looks like a completely different scenario then, doesn't it? The US Second Corps stands ready to attack towards Mathia. After a few days of reorganizing, the British First Army will be ready to launch our main attack aimed directly at Tunis. Due to the terrain it faces, AFHQ recommended, uh, recommends that the British 8th Army be used in a defensive role. As such, most of its best units have been transferred to the British First Army. Okay. Not much in the way of uh, build-up there. Yeah, so we have the British 8th over here to the south. I like... Um, <laughs> I love the fact that you have obviously this change of uh, the deserts over here to the, the sort of lush-looking Greenlands over here. That is quite interesting, actually. It really makes for quite a striking campaign map. But again, I, I don't know. There were some comments about the actual game looking somewhat simplistic, and it does, and it doesn't. I quite like it. I think it's a nice... It's in a nice position where it is, really. It's casual enough for most people to get in and play and enjoy, but it does have uh, that allure to complexity that I'm hoping will increase as the campaign does carry on here. I mean, I'd love to see really large-scale battle maps. That would be quite nice. Well, campaign maps. I like the fact that you can actually rotate here. The animations are really quite pretty. There's a TV show that it reminds me of. Um, I can't remember the name of the TV show now. But basically, the show would begin, they'd talk about the history of a battle, and then they'd, uh, it was like a father and son, I can't remember who it was now, uh, but they they would, for example, like, I don't know, sit down or, or something like that, and they'd, like, they'd open this board out, and when they opened the board out, you'd see, like, all these animations, uh, basically, like, the layout of the actual battle, the deployments of the sides, you see these animations. I can't remember who that was now. If you guys know who I'm talking about, or what show I'm talking about, please do comment down below in the comment section, we'll be quite interested to find that one out. Okay, so if we take a look at what uh, the Axis forces have in store for us, we can see that this is uh, predominantly Africa Corps. There are some Italians. It looks like a good number of Italian troops, infantry divisions, and we do have some Italian armoured over here. Uh, but yeah, most of the Panzer Grenadiers, or at least most of the mechanised and armoured, is indeed German. Yeah, these are German forces over here. To the north. Hmm... I do wonder what the uh, double iron cross stands for, actually. I'd like to figure that one out. I don't think it has anything to do with... Oh no, they're elite. Okay, so... Ah. Right, so that's a way to see which are the elite troops and which are veterans. Do we have any regular infantry to compare that to? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can actually see the level of veterancy here of the forces. 
I think the stars probably indicate the same thing for us then, actually. That would make sense. Yeah, we do have the elite New Zealand infantry over here. There we go, that's really cool. I didn't quite notice that beforehand, but that does make sense now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the actual uh, supply situation over here then. Uh, so we do have a supply depot here, we have one over here as well, of course there's one down here. You can see that uh, we do have a lot of rail lines over here, which is quite good. You can see these bridges have been repaired. Not much in the way of issues. There's definitely more rivers to take into account this time around. I'm looking forward to seeing how Northern Europe's going to look, really. Uh, well, Sicily and um, the Italian Peninsula is going to be really quite interesting. Uh, especially when we get to the Gothic line. Okay. I mean, that is rough terrain, I'd imagine. Uh, so let's see here. We do have a terrain view. This is something I need to figure out what these actually mean, but I think these might indicate hills, perhaps. That looks like it indicates maybe like uh, a mountain, perhaps. Rough ground, uh, mountains perhaps, or hills of some nature. Bridges, of course, forest over there. I like this. I think this is a very nice system. It's really quite simple. I like the fact that you can see the rivers over here. Uh, this looks to indicate swamp. Well, swamps over here as well. I'm liking it. It looks very good. It's very simple, very easy. So we have the enemy supply over here then. Uh, so they're going to be well, well supplied. It's going to be difficult to really do much about this due to the fact that they do have the benefit of interior lines. Let's see, we don't have a... Do we have a weather view? There's not a weather view as of yet. So that's fine. Right, we don't have access to support as of yet. Hmm. So we have pattern over here then. Experience earned. Prisoner counts okay. Right. We'll take a look at what we can do here then. So we do have access to quite a lot of armor if we so would like it. It might be worthwhile to invest in the armor. Having engineers is not a bad thing as well. Uh, so we do have the three French forces over here, the CFA. Now they're regular infantry, they're not too particularly... Uh, they're not very, very strong. We do have this which is open. These are veteran German forces over here, but I reckon this is probably the best chance we've got over here. We are able to amass a good degree of force. These guys are equipped with Shermans, M10s, uh, and Shermans over here as well. You have M10 support, QF 25 pounders on each unit. Right. You could actually look to gain some support over here, so I'll give them a specialist. Let's see. Uh, so we can see how that affects their statistics here. So attack and defense increases there by 8, I believe. Armor is quite good. Interesting that Churchill's don't give you that armor. <laughs> I consider it's a heavy tank. Unless it's just no improvement, but we'll see. Engineers could be very handy. Would give them additional defense. M7 priest. Armor equipment. Combines with infantry to create armor stamps. Let's go and take a look at that one again. For fully armored unit. Interesting. Are these new units? Indian armor. Okay, does this... Is this how you reinforce your units then? Let's see, if I put... Ah, that's how you reinforce them. Uh, now that makes a lot of sense. Right, I'm glad that we know about that one now. Uh, seems fairly cheap to do, to be fair. I like the animation, not gonna lie. There we go. I'm gonna spend this then. While we have it available. Okay. I'll give them the priests. There we go. I'm liking it. We are spending a lot of prestige though like this, so that's something to bear in mind. Right. Can I give them additional engineers? No, I can reinforce these units if I so wish to do so. <sighs> Looks like I don't have... Right, so nobody can take that then. That's a shame. Hmm. 
Can I give them additional units? Like, additional specialists? Oh, you can? Okay. Well, that's good to see there. I'd like to reinforce that unit, then. Okay, this is really good, though. This is really good to know about. Let's give them some more US infantry. Right, there we go. I'm going to save the prestige that we do have, then. And we'll go forward with that. So, let's take a look at our objectives here. Figure out what we've got to do to achieve our bonus objectives. So, we're going to take Long Stop Hill by Tad 1. Uh, Matea, Matteo, I'm thinking of uh, <laughs> Benidorm now. Um, right, which is here. So this is a hill, right, okay. And that's by turn three. Cal Calibia, by turn five, which is over here then. Okay. That one looks like it could be potentially done. Okay, we know what we're doing then. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end battle preparation and get into the battle proper. Right. I'm going to turn the music up. Oh, there we go. It's going to turn it up a little bit more. Oh, I like this. Show hexes. Let's see. How does that look? Nice. Yeah, there's a nice... Nice uh, menu system there. There we go. That'll do. Liking the music so far. So if we take a look over here then, we do have entrenched Axis forces. They're equipped with the 88 and the FD... So the SD, KFZ, so obviously they do have the half tracks. You can see how that gives them quite some versatility there. Hmm. These are elite Falschimjäger. Not gonna lie, did not mean to actually do that. Yeah, okay, that... <laughs> That wasn't particularly what I wanted to do there. <laughs> that kind of backfired. Yeah. Oh. Note to self, do not click. So if I take a look at this from another view, so this is indeed the hill there. I don't know if I'm going to put... I might have bugged myself there. God damn it. Right, let's see. I'm going to go back to the menu, menu and <laughs> we're going to restart that one. Uh, I, I need to take that hill. Right, restart the scenario. At least we know what we're doing here. Won't take us too long. <laughs> yeah, I want to take the bonus objectives. I want to grab that additional prestige. Okay, so what we're going to do here then is look to deploy Prestige. I think we'll go all out potentially on the Prestige. Just make sure we actually get what we need. Okay, I'm going to look towards reinforcing this unit though. I like that sound effect, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's see what they have there. So they have a 25 pounders. I think we potentially, uh, can I look to reinforce this armored unit? It's out of range, isn't it? Okay. I need something to try and beat that unit back. So we have commandos here. So that's attack and defense. They're very expensive actually, but they seem to be a very powerful unit. Uh, about the same price as the Churchills. We do have the priests over here. Artillery is quite good. Extra artillery. Armor, attack and defense there. Maybe the commandos? Engineers are very handy there as well. I guess we'll give... Oh, they've already got some engineers. Have they got engineers? No, they haven't got engineers. We'll give them some engineers. Engineers, eyes and ears. I always think of that from uh, Company of Heroes, actually. Right, there we go. And then potentially give these guys the artillery support there. I could reinforce these units as well. Right, there we go. And that is all of our prestige used. I think it'll be worthwhile. We've really reinforced the armored units over here. We've really reinforced the British 
They have reinforced the Americans over here as well. So we're going to go forward and uh, try not to muck it up this time. That would be most beneficial. Right, so what I want to do here then is figure out how we're going to take Long Stop Hill. Hmm. See, the thing is, the second... Yeah, well... Patton's uh, US Corps over here. He doesn't have access... I suppose this is it. Had I upgraded his uh, abilities to begin with, we would have been in a different position, wouldn't we? So that's something to bear in mind. I could move there and maybe then go for a set attack. Can I save it here? No, we're going to have to just go with it then, aren't we? Hmm. I want to take this hill. I do have access to support over here, which is very nice. Could be worthwhile bombarding that position there to remove them. But we'll save that for the time being. Uh, we'll do some reconnaissance. Try and figure out what's going on, really. Doesn't seem like there's anything in the area. Right, so there's just a supply depot here. Uh, so as far as we can tell, in this immediate area, this is all we are facing here. Uh, pretty good to know about. Hmm. So we'd have one-to-one -one odds over there. Right, the infantry could move. Which is pretty beneficial, actually. These are veterans. Yeah, I mean, this is it. These are veteran infantry as well. Hmm. I'm just thinking, if I move these veterans, these guys could probably replace them there. And that's a pretty nice position to take up there. It would leave the armoured. I could move them there, the armoured could move in if necessary. What's the actual terrain there? So it's like the hills then, isn't it? Um, let's see, these guys have a pretty damn good attack there. I, wanna, I want to be able to make use of that ability though, the, uh, uh, to be able to remove their fortification. So I'll move these guys here. They do have the ability to attack. So let's see. We have a set piece attack. Ah, it's got to be by these guys then, hasn't it? Hmm. Faint attack. Suppress a part of the enemy force, okay. But doesn't remove entrenchment. Suppressive fire. No retreat, okay. That's rough. Okay, I was hoping that we would have been able to use that ability there. It's a goddamn fortress as well. That, that's a difficult thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to secure the hill there on turn one. Maybe I can. It's not a terribly strong unit per se. It's just, it's well entrenched. Motorized at that. I could look to suppress them. I think what we're going to do then is make use of the uh, air power that we do have. Okay, that did do... That did quite well, actually. That would hurt us considerably. So what I'm going to do then... Is I'll go for a faint attack over here then. Okay, just suppress them a little bit more. One to one odds there. The river does not help. Right, they're kind of spent now. They did inflict some pretty good losses there, but I want to drive them out so I can take the hill, really. But the infantry would probably, it would do a really good job. I mean, I could actually have them carry out the attack to remove the fortifications, really. If I remove the fortifications, then potentially another unit could come in there. It might have been a better idea to have had them remove the fortifications and then these guys come in. Um, 
Definitely a lot of learning to be done here. I could potentially even outright beat them here. Looks like a 90% chance they retreat, perhaps. I think we'll give it a go. They do retreat. Yes! And we will be able to take... Yes, there we go. British first engineers added. Is that like a... I don't know what these mean here. Does it mean I get to keep them? I have no idea. Uh, but we've achieved our... Uh, we've achieved the actual first objective there, which is quite good. Whew. Okay, now, now I feel quite nice. I feel happy there. So we'll look towards securing the next objective there, which is going to be um, Matteo. Matteo. The barman. Okay, we need to move the headquarters forward then, for damn sure. There we go. So we do have this open over here. So I could extend there, oh, even with extended movement, they don't have that. Well, we'll have them move there. They can't cross, but that's fine. Have them move there. So we do have uh, three French forces down here. I like the fact that we can see the three French being represented here. I like the fact that they're outfitted, obviously, in American equipment, really. Really interesting. I love the diversity that we have here in terms of just, like, the actual look of the units. Like, the British are instantly recognisable, but I like the fact that you have the Indian forces over here, you have the New Zealanders, I, I like that. Really makes for a very different, a uh, very intriguing looking game, really. We have the Germans, we obviously have the Italians, they look nice, they look different, unique, if you will. Okay, that's a bad, bad idea. I think what we'll do here, then, is with the British 8th, is we could look for set piece attacks here to remove their fortifications. I mean, these elite troops are going to be awful, but these veterans could potentially be taken. That was surprisingly effective, actually. Hmm. That's elite British armoured. That was actually surprisingly effective. Right, what I'm going to do here then. Move the infantry. So, I, this is now... This isn't open. That's fine. I think what we'll do then is... I need to get the armor potentially in position. It might be worthwhile to focus the armor against this area over here, really. The thing is, there's not much in the way of, for maneuver over there. So I think what I'll do then is I'll get the infantry up over this way. Have this elite armor move down here. And then at least it gives us a greater degree of flexibility, I suppose you could say, or at least maneuverability over here. So I could move up the armor over here if needs be. But let's see what we can do over here. Right. So we don't have a set piece of tax over here, which is a uh, difficult one. Hmm. Let's see, what else do we have in terms of options for set piece attacks? So they could attack there to remove their fortifications. The thing is, I mm, probably worthwhile. They may not move next turn, that's the thing. Wow, okay. That was... Um, Pretty, pretty rough. At least we can, well, yeah, at least we know how to reinforce our units now, which is quite nice. I didn't mean to give them engineers, but okay. Did, oh, so I had a free, ah. 
Okay, now that makes more sense. Hmm. So the British first still uh, actually does have some US infantry as well. It's good to know. Okay, we need to figure out how we're going to break this. It's going to be significantly easier said than done. Significantly. Right. What does uh, Patton have up his sleeve? Nothing really much. <laughs> uh, two to one. We do have a few turns over here. It could be that we look to maneuver for position here more than anything. I could look at actually using the armor. The armor in theory should be more effective against the actual troops here. I think they're out in the open. No, unfortunately not. Now that unit's not that strong actually. It is in... Hello, what is that? Oh, these are the options, okay. Nice. No faint uh, ability. I like the fact that we don't have to click on that, we can just click on the units. So that's very handy. Yeah, like, there we go. Hmm. Suppressive fire. Set piece attacks that are available over here. Um... I mean, it is a roadway, but it's not terribly important as this rail line over here, which represents supply. Ouch. Hmm. It does give them better odds, though. Okay. What I'm going to do then is... I could even move more armor over here to the north, but... Um, let's see. Apparently I could beat them up pretty... pretty badly. We do have forces to attack with over here as well, so we could take advantage of that. Give it a go with the armor. 50% uh, chance to overrun them as well, apparently. Yep, so they're out. Take that position there. Probably should have moved that armor there, actually, in retrospect. Hmm. Okay, that might be all I can really achieve here on the first turn. These guys are just too difficult to deal with at the moment. So I think what I'll look towards doing then is just cutting them off if I can do. Uh, so we'll go forward, see how that turns out. Okay, not so bad. Right, one unit supply disrupted. Which I'm guessing is these guys out supply shortly. So what I can do then is, I could move the supply depot all the way up over here to be fair. Right, we'll create a new one there. Okay. Okay, this, <laughs> so much for, yeah, so much for that. That's a bit rougher now. This is clear terrain. This might be a really good place, so yeah, we might be able to break through here and cut these forces off, actually. 
I mean, this is looking pretty good. Advancing directly on tuning, essentially. These guys are now in the open. Uh, and we'll go ahead and run some reconnaissance then, shall we? These guys are entrenched. Wow, those are really good guys. Could increase our strength, actually. So they don't have the yet. So I think these guys are kind of suppressed or something like that. So I don't think they have that strength as of yet. Uh, so it won't take in... won't be taken into account immediately. Hmm. I could look for a faint attack. I don't know how, how that's going to really benefit me too much. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, actually. I suppose this is the uh, learn aspect of the game, isn't it? I do want that. I could use the air power to destroy that unit. Well, at least try to reduce its effectiveness. Same for over here as well, actually. Apparently I'd win that. Hmm. Okay, looks like they've recovered, actually. Yeah, we are being held up over here. Let's try to break them down as much as I can. Uh, move them back. Hmm. Right, it's been breached now. Fortunately, they don't have the ability to... You've got to be able to switch these. I bet you can switch them out or something like that. How, I'd love to know how. It, it just it just seems like you can. I don't know. Maybe that's if they were there. Hmm. But we'll be able to break through here next turn. And then I could try to achieve this one here. Wow, it doesn't actually break their entrenchment. Impressive. I could beat that, you know. 70% chance they retreat. I think that's worthwhile going for. I could hit it with air power to make it even more assured, really. As far as I can see, this is fairly open. I think what I'm going to do then is we'll use some air power here. These guys are in the open. Let's double check that they are in the open. They are in the open, so it should be more effective. Let's see, where do I see how effective it is? Right, okay. Uh, plus one if the target unit is green. Minus one if the weather is mud or snow. Mountain, forest, or city. If the right, so they're not entrenched in the open, but they are veterans, so we don't gain any efficient, well, additional benefit. Those guys are, yeah, but it should should work well against them. Yeah, that's KIA. Um, 
gotta seize the city by turn five. I think we're focused here. Yeah, that's really buggered by that unit. So that's gonna be pretty much just destroyed. Okay. Right, so that gives us the ability to move here, if I so wish to do so. I'm going to hold that as a reserve option. Hmm. Okay, you could move and still attack something. I'm going to take that as an option. Let's move you there. You get your asses handed to you. But at least that holds our position there. Oh, hello, we could suppress it. That's worthwhile. Right, they do fall back. Excellent. You could move there. Uh, finish that unit. Now move here. I don't know if we can take Tunis itself. I'll move this unit over here, but at least we can see what we can manage. First enemy... What? I'm quite sub... I'm a little... Okay, so there's an enemy unit there, apparently. I don't know why we didn't move up any further. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they could move there. Right, what I'm going to do... Move that unit there. Right, fill those gaps in there. So we are pretty close here to actually uh, cutting this this off over here. That might be all I can manage here for the time being. But we are on the precipice of taking Tunis. But what I'm looking at doing is cutting these guys off. But that should uh, facilitate some sort of withdrawal from the front line to the Axis forces. Like so. Yeah, they've had to fall back there with just a single unit. Because that's all, that's all they can really manage. Right, recover some engineers apparently. But yeah, this is open to now possibly being cut off. Shame I don't have... Oh. What? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. No more uses this turn. Okay. I don't know what I just did. So I could move the armor over here. Doesn't reveal anything, but it's good to know anyway. I could try another set-piece attack over here to try and reduce their fortifications.
Let's see, if I did it with you, 30% chance of retreat. Hmm. I need this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to manage it by turn 3. Not likely. Hmm. Oh, excellent. Right, so let's open that up. little dangerous, but I don't think it's too bad. I think maybe we look towards taking the main objective, but... I mean, these are the main objectives over here, really, aren't they? This is Viva Sideshow. I could look to pressurize these forces over here, but... Yeah, they're pretty well... Dug in, man. Hmm. It'd be pretty hard to dig uh, these units out with some air power. Air power is good. But it's not amazing. It's not the uh, be all end all. I need to upgrade the second core to have set piece attacks, really. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we use the air power against units in the open. At least then that's what's going to reduce them. Right, I'll use the one against that. That finishes that unit. Or at least it should do. Either way, they're pretty hurt. I just don't think I have the opportunity to do what I want here. We'll try a set piece of time. Okay, they have been breached. Yeah, they are good troops. Seems we yeah, zone of control's not working for us now. Yeah, she got the engineers. Well, that nets us a city there. It is a risk, but I'm going to have them move in there. I kind of want the armor to be freed up.
Right, that unit's equipped with the M7 Priest, that's also equipped with the Priest, but uh, these guys have a little bit more of the way strength. Seems they have a little bit more Priest artillery or something? Maybe double? Yeah, they look to have double it. Uh, which would be useful, really. River there is not good. I think what we'll do is destroy that unit. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Well, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, dear. Okay. That leaves me liable to being cut off there. Whoops. That was a wait. But yeah. I'll have to accept the fact I'm not going to get that. Amazingly, supplies make it down there just nice. I think that's due to the fact that we do have maybe this supply center now. I don't know what these icons mean, I'll tell you. Hmm. So we're going to miss out on one of the bonus objectives, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Learn my lesson on that one. It will survive, but it will not live well. Damn. Oh well, at least we'll be able to take the city now. They are really tough. <laughs> right, let's see. Yeah, supply is a bad thing for everybody here. No real fat there, it seems. God damn. There we go, we we'll take that. Right, should be able to manage that shortly then. Leave these guys sort of starve, I suppose. I wonder then, do they make their way back to headquarters? Is that how it works? Learning this still.
Pick up the prisoners. I could leave them another turn to reduce them, really. We'll leave them another turn to be reduced. Mm, okay, that might not be as easy as I hoped. It looks like it made it back, but I'm not entirely sure how that system works, has been. Hmm. So this is all in supply, but these guys aren't. I think that's probably due to the terrible terrain or something. Oh, that might be why. Damn these guys. They've been out of supply now. Right, so that should fall next turn. These guys are now in the open. I just wondered if I just bomb this, I could maybe take it. 
I do have another turn bomb, so. Screw that one up. More prisoners. So these guys have been out of supply two turns now. Yeah, so ideal we'll grab the next ones, uh, the objectives next turn. Yeah, so we lose our objectives, which is a shame. We weren't too far out from taking the Eve, which is a bit annoying. Like so. <laughs> I just can grab some prisoners. Right, they've been out of supply three turns now. Ah, you're just gone now. That's brutal. <laughs> yep, they're finally gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, guess that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I suppose we just take it as that, really. I would have hoped to have taken more uh, objectives, but, well, we have that victory, so I'll take it. Could have been better, could have been significantly worse. Is the scenario complete? Liberation of North Africa. Congratulations. Okay. So we have Operation Husky. For the first time since the evacuation in Greece in April 1941, Western Allied forces return to mainland Europe in force. Operation Husky, the invasion of Sicily, is about to commence. The skies above the island have been cleared and the Allied invasion fleet closes in on the beaches. So what I'm going to do here then is we are going to take a look at the beginning of the mission. So like one of us now is a player of viewers history interested. Uh, but yes, and then we'll call it a day. And it'll be up to you guys to comment down below if you want to see more. As to whether you see the next episode. So we'll go ahead and take a look at how the map... Uh, your forces lay ready off the shores of Sicily. 
Once the beaches are secure, the British 8th Army should advance on your main objective. Messina. Well, Messina. Our take in Messina will cut off any remaining Axis forces on the island. The US 7th Army will provide flank and support. The few German units present constitute a large threat until your forces have a secure foothold. In order to ensure success in the upcoming operation, Allied Headquarters have reinforced the following units. 1st US Infantry Division, the 50th uh, British Infantry Division and the 51st. Interesting. Ooh, have naval bombardment. See, we would have had this as an option in the theatre. So I think this is it, but I, I like this. This is looking cool. Very nice. So I suppose this is it, really, isn't it? Like, um, I could have potentially have taken the naval bombardment and that could have really significantly altered the, uh, the outcome of the earlier scenarios. So that's what I like about this. So let's see then. Could land there. As an assault, it seems. Probably not a good idea. Good way to get yourself killed there. Hmm. So these are paratroopers. I, might, I think you have to probably take something here to land them. As far as I can tell, I'm not entirely sure how they work. Yeah, seems that way. As far as I can tell, that could be seized. But what we'll do then is we'll use what we have. Okay. You can see where this comes in handy now. But we do have the benefit of the uh, Avro Lancaster support, and we do have a bombardment. That's quite good. Minus one if the weather is mud or snow. I don't know. I suppose that's effectiveness. Uh, the tiger's mountain or city. Target unit is green. And they are green. Oh, there's a lot of green here. I mean, maybe even a... Uh, let's see. What's the train line? There's more clear terrain, but yeah, as you get to this area here, it's, it is definitely hell. As you can see. Hmm. I'm going to see what a bombardment looks like, and then we'll call it a day. Nice. <laughs> I like that. I do wonder what the 8 re uh, represents. Is that the strength of the bombardment? Very nice. Yes, yeah, you can see here just how effective those assets can be there. But there we go. Thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you have enjoyed this so far. And if you have, please do consider, well, subscribing to the channel. My channels are XDRG on YouTube and XDRG on Twitch. Please go over there and uh, follow as well. And if you can hit the bell icon down below, so then at least you're always notified when a new video is out. And subscribe for more as well. So remember, comment down below if you'd like to see new episodes. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. Have a beautiful evening and an even better day. Goodbye for now.